Blues Team, assemble! Canes. I'm Brett Brewster. And I'm Kyle Lovelock. Welcome back to the TV News Hurricanes edition. Please rise for pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under, under God, God, indivisible, the liberty and justice, justice for all. Catholic Schools Week has been going on all week and continues today with the Homeroom Door Contest based on a luminary theme. Winning teachers will receive ice cream for their classes. This school, the school will announce the winners tomorrow. Today will also feature minute to win it games in the Ed Pack with Mr. Wilson. Also, clubs will not meet. This Friday, we'll wrap up Catholic Schools Week, and it will end with the prayer for Feast of St. Agatha. It will also be a Dress Like a Saint Day. Our school is also asking us to bring baby supplies to school, which we'll, we will donate to Foundations for Life. And tomorrow will be a winter pep rally for the sports, and that will be the very end of our Catholic Schools Week. It is a PM activity. All right, well, thank you. And now here's Colin with sports. We're all tied. Thanks, Brett. Speaking of sports, we saw some strong finishes by soccer and basketball teams in the regular season and in tournament play. So be sure to congratulate the students and coaches. Baseball and softball teams are getting ready to start their preseason games. Here in school, Miss Houston's team sports began the semester with a badminton unit. A round-robin tournament led its way to a seeded tournament. During period A... Zach Berglund and Jer Jacob Rodriguez were undefeated in the final, going against Kyle Campson and Carson Ragsdale. A five-point come-from-behind from victory gave Zach and Jacob their first loss. In the next game, Berglund and Rodriguez won 23-21. to In period eight, brothers Joe and Greg Sukon were the number one seed. The finals included the Sukon brothers, being challenged by the number two seeded team of Colin Hankin and Keegan Powers. Can Hankin and Powers prevailed to topple the brothers and win the tournament. And now here's Steven with a special report. Thanks, Colin. We are familiar with the customs of our faith for the year, but Bishop Classrooms are also recognizing Catholic customs of another country, Mexico. This week is the celebration of the Dia de la Candelaria, in Spanish class, the people who found the baby Jesus inside the three kings' day bread have to bring food. It is part of the celebration people have in Mexico, and they usually bring tamales. February 2nd fell 40 days after Christmas and is celebrated by Catholics as the presentation of the Lord. In Mexico, this holiday is celebrated as Dia de la Candelaria, known as Candlemas in English, because candles were brought to the church to be blessed. In Mexico, the holiday is a follow-up to the festivities of King's Day on January 6th, when children receive gifts and families and friends gather together to eat Rosca de Reyes, a special sweetbread with figurines of a baby representing the child Jesus hidden inside. The person or people who receive the figurines on King's Day are supposed to host a party on Candlemas Day. Tamales are the food of choice. Another important custom in Mexico, particularly in areas where traditions run strong, is for families to own an image of the Christ child, which is called Nino Dios. At times, a godparent is chosen for the Nino Dios, who is then responsible for hosting various celebrations between Christmas and Candlemas. First, on Christmas Eve, the Nino Dios is placed in the nativity scene. On January 6th, King's Day, the child is brought presents from the Magi, and on February 2nd, the child is dressed in fine clothes and presented in the church. Appreciating and learning about the customs can deepen our faith, and it can be fun. Mr. Legender found the baby Jesus on the teacher's Three Kings Day bread. And now, back to Brett. Thank you, Stephen. Attention seniors, if you haven't already, please turn in your yearbook dedication pages congratulating you for your success for these past four years of Bishop. Please go to jossens.com to turn in your photos, texts, and captions, or give them to Mr. Z himself in the media center. And speaking of the yearbook, 
Seniors also need to turn their baby pictures by February 12th to a yearbook staff member or Mr. Z in the media center. Most of you have not. True. Also, if you're a sponsor club or another sponsor of any other club at the school that was not photographed in the music room earlier this year, also see Mr. Zemanski so the yearbook staff can take club pictures. In the weather forecast, rain is expected today. Today we'll see a high of 74 and a low of 67. Tomorrow's high will dip to 66 and a low will fall to 53. And today's lunch is going to be chicken tenders and fries, and tomorrow's lunch will be corn dogs and tater tots. That sounds really good. Not really. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> it may seem far away, but it's not too early to think about prom, which will be April 16th from 7 to 10 p.m. at Bush Gardens. You can see Mr. Sh Mrs. Schuster for more details. I'll be attending. I don't know about you. Oh, I will be too. Probably single. <laughs> and that's it for today's news, guys. Please sound yourselves for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. St. Charles Borromeo, pray for us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. For our crew, Brett, Colin, Stephen, and I, have a great day and a great week. Go Canes!